At the line, it comes to Kadiri with a shot. He sails it just wide. On the loose disc is Ryan. Ryan with a back to scores. Kenny Ryan with a wraparound. It's going to count two because the net went right back on the moorings. And the Spitfires, Kenny Ryan with his first goal here in Windsor and his sixth of the season. Well, that gets the monkey off his back uh, for Kenny Ryan. And you know what? He needed that, Bill, just from a confidence standpoint. Of course, he went to the USA camp, and he was a cut there. So he comes back to Windsor. I think more than anything, Kenny Ryan wants to prove himself that he deserves to uh, get the opportunity. Look at that great effort there. That's good heads-up hockey, Bill, to reverse it like that. Spillman springs free in front of the Placades, and he's checked on the plane and away from the Spitfires. On the move as Wellwood down the right wing, three at center, up over the line with Ryan. The late man is Mitchell with a tiny fires away. Wellwood will open that, and they score. Eric Wellwood pops it in, and the Spitfires line up Wellwood, Ryan, and Mitchell, responsible for both goals here this afternoon. Well, Wellwood didn't get everything on that shot, but he got enough, and I believe that's his 18th of the season. He continues his scoring ways, and the Spitfires have a two-goal lead at 8.24 of the period. Talk about a perfect bounce, though, Bill, off the back wall. Eric Wellwood races hard to the net, looking for the rebound, and he just stayed in front of that icy line there, got enough of an angle and was able to tuck it in, but perfect bounce to Wellwood right there. Pasquale was on the other side of the net. He actually looked like he got a glove on it, but not enough obviously to keep it out. O'Connor was sifting in front, now he'll peel back for Saginaw. Brian O'Connor going for a skin. here comes a shot, the foot and they score. Mirovic is gonna get yes, it. Yes, Morovic got the tip. Or Morovic. This 10th of the season, but what a great play by the young defenseman, Ryan O'Connor. Look at the, talk about patience, and then, you know what? He intended that, that was a pass, not a shot. Look at how he carries, he's got his head up, He's looking around, and then he gets some room, and he lays out a perfect pass to Morovic, and he perfect just tips tip it in. Too. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Floating down the ice, right in the passing hand, and he has to make a save. Passing him uh, deliberately gives it to uh, Kenny Ryan. Here's Ryan. Up it to Kendera. Great wide feed, and it's a giveaway, and a breaking inside the zone to Sanderson inside the shot. And zone's back to back, and he scores. A great goal by Barry Sanderson, shorthanded, and the Spirit have tied this one at two. Pretty goal by Barry Sanderson. 14-14, the time of that tying goal. Sanderson short-handed, and what a great move. He uh, anticipated the pass. I don't think Mark got everything on that pass that he wanted to. Came right through the middle of the zone. Sanderson. Spitfires, they scrum the draw. They fight for the loose puck. Watson couldn't get it knocked down by Philman on the puck is Mitchell. For Watson, got away from uh, Morovich, comes back to the point to shove over to Kenderi. Mark Kinderi down to Dale Mitchell, back to Kinderi with a boss, he scores! Mark Kinderi buries it, the Spitfires remain on the power play, the Spitfires take a 3-2 lead. Great play by Mark Kinderi there, but as you were alluded to, Don, that was a good decision. He knew that it wasn't too intentional to play on Troy passing him earlier, and, and, and too often guys really jump to the conclusion and they, they take that penalty, but uh, really great one-time shot here to give uh, the Spitz some breathing room. He More hammered. importantly, Brian Lee, they still have a minute 47 on their second power play. Brian, off the draw, comes back to the point to Underwood. Underwood had trouble controlling it along the end boards for Skelly. And back to the Windsor goal, centering pass in front. Brian poked it free, comes back to the point to Underwood for Walt. Walt with a shot, deflected right on. They say the rebound, has him in this little shot to the goal, and they score. 25, Josh Shalla. And the Spirit tied this one at three, and all that happened because of the botched icing call. Well, you, and you can see Bob Bugner arguing that right now. He's, he's all over Joe Minetti, the linesman. 16.05, the time of this tying goal. Josh Shalla, his 19th of the season. It's a huge one. They control the faceoff. Here's the long shot. The rebound, a couple of pokes at it. Shalla has half an empty net. He's not going to miss that. So we're tied at three at the 16.05. He's, he's got a lot of confidence now. Here's Dale Mitchell moving in. Moving in on goal. Makes him move, he scores! Dale Mitchell carries it. And the Spitfires lead one nothing in the shootout. That is a very that's a very difficult move to defend against. You're seeing a lot of that in the National Hockey League now, where players are coming in with speed, and when they're able to shift that puck over to the backhand so quickly and tuck it away, what a nice goal by Dale Mitchell. 
Vincent Trochuk, the 16-year-old Trochuk, the 16-year-old youngster from Pittsburgh, PA. That's another one of my picks for shooting. Me too. Here he comes. Trochuk makes the move, and he scores. Pretty goal by Trochuk. My, oh my, that kid has so much upside to his game. He is going to be a star in this league. If you see the replay on that goal, he lost the puck. That puck was fluttering. If you take a look here, look, there's a, a certain point where. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, look, it starts fluttering. Still He's still able to it. get it over on his forehand wow. and tuck it home. Here's Mark nice Canary with a second opportunity for Windsor. That's a goal that. It's a goal. I got the Yes, he did. That puck had eyes. <laughs> Pasquale had the leg out. Josh Shala is the second shooter. And actually, it was his foot that it was, carried it was the puck his in. foot that put it in. Here's Shala at the game tire in the third. Moving in on goal. Makes his move, and he fired it wide. Stuttgart can win it here. Right here, this could be the one. It's a nice move by Shala, but passing him really stayed high out on his paint. Eric Wellwood gets the third opportunity for Windsor, and he can put the Spitfires in the victory column with a goal here. Let's this see what the, the game right shifty here. Eric Wellwood does here. For the game, he's in on goal. Makes his move, but he scores! It's over, the Spitfires win it to shoot out. Four to three. Bill, looks like you and I are getting the beverage. Yes, we are. Here's Dominic Pope uh, and his send us home. Dominic.